Should have really washed my hair this morning. Didn't know I was doing an interview. I always wanted to call this record Young Modern right from when I started writing it because that's what Van Dyke Parks used to call me whenever I'd meet up. Yeah, hello, Young Modern. I dig it so much. I love this piece of work that you've done. Uh, Thank you, mate. It doesn't need a goddamn thing. What are we doing here? Every, every <laughs> artist always says this, but I honestly think it's going to be the best silver chair record yet. Yeah, I think we're definitely on the right track for the record that we want. We all love the same kind of music. We're all focused on making the same kind of record. And it makes something that's like a Lennon record or something where it's, there's artistic integrity to it, but it's also completely um, palatable to everyone. bed tracks, all the rhythm tracks and everything are, um, are played as a band. It takes a little longer to get everything right. Yeah guys, that was a good take, that's a keeper. <laughs> I find it way more inspiring and a lot more fun to do it that way. And what they play together is what's on the record. Hard War! I'm telling you man, it's the name! Yeah! Should we do another? This record feels really a lot more up, just because I think we're, that's, that's kind of how we're feeling. The rhythm tracks are just so, they're kind of, they're, they're really laid back, but they're also really confident. I've always thought that how, how the people are feeling in the studio translates in the music, which is why with even with Diorama I was only wanted I wouldn't let anyone in the studio unless they were in a good mood. That's been really fun because it's like when you do electronic music predominantly, you know, it's a different headspace. Yeah, Paul's definitely been a great permanent fixture for this record. The people that are here at the moment working on this record is it's like my dream lineup of people. Very much the Harlem Globe Trotters of music. 